Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to fade out audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is a pretty simple thing to do. What I have set up right here is I have a piece of footage and a piece of music, both from Envato Elements, which is a place that you can pay a monthly subscription fee and then get unlimited amounts of music, stock footage, Premiere Pro templates, After Effects templates, etc. Great place. If that sounds like it's interesting you, check out the link in the description below. So with this, I have a fade on the video right here into black over time. So you can see that we're fading down. It's a nice little thing. However, the music stays constant and then it just cuts off at the very end. We don't want that. We want it to fit the visual. And to do that, we need to fade it out. Easiest way to do this is to go into your effects. We're gonna go and look in audio transitions, crossfade down into constant gain. If we take this and drag it and drop it onto an audio track, whether it be connected to a video or a separate track itself, which this music is just completely separate, we get this at the very end. Now, when it's attached to the end, it fades music out. So all we have to do is look for this little icon, click on it and drag it out to where our fade begins. And then now take a listen. easy as that to fade out. If we want to do the reverse, we take this constant gain, we put it on the front, and we can drag this all the way out. Take a listen here. Slowly gets louder over time. So that is the quickest, easiest way to do this. Drag and drop, you're good to go. Now, if you want a little bit more control, you can manually do this as well, and then you can have a little bit more fun. You can change the stuff around, you could duck the music, you can do a lot of stuff. To do that, we need to just expand this bottom track down here. So it's usually, you know, maybe like this small. We need to take that and just go ahead and expand that outwards like so. We're then going to look for these three buttons right here. This is to add a keyframe, and that's what we're gonna be doing. If you don't see these buttons, you can right click, hit customize, and drag these buttons out down here. And if this is on the wrong setting, right click, show clip, clip keyframes, volume, and then level right here. Once we have all that open, we go to the place that we want, we click on the audio track, and then we click this button. You can also use the control or command key on a Mac to add it as well. Go to the very end of our clip, click on the audio, click there. Then we click on this back keyframe, drag it all the way down into negative infinity, and we have the exact same effect. If we wanted to get fancy with it, we go in the center here, create another keyframe, maybe have it go a slow sort of drop and then a strong one at the bottom, like so. And you can hear where like we end it on like a done sort of note, and that makes it so that that fades out and it doesn't make a sort of a clipping sound as we take the footage and cut it out. So we get a nice sort of soft area right there. But that is it. That's all you need to do to fade in and out audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, hit that subscribe button. I try to make a video as often as possible, but sometimes things get in the way. So I'm aiming right now for about one a week, maybe two a week. But anyway, hit that subscribe button to see those future videos. And until next time, guys, see ya.